Ghana Badmos TV. Entertainment without bad. Hey there, welcome to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. On Trending today, Nigerians demand justice for the killing of a newspaper vendor by a security man in the convoy of the House of Representatives Speaker Femi Bajabia Mila. Details in a bit. And all time favorites. The killing of Ifan Yokereke by one of the security details attached to the office of the Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Badjabi Amila has sparked outrage on social media as Nigerians condemned the act and called for justice over the incident. Many Nigerians have said the killing of the newspaper vendor again validates the recent NSAS protest against police brutality and extrajudicial killings. According to report, the incident occurred at the Federal Secretary at Abuja around 3 p.m. on Thursday and had caused panic in the area. The victim, Ifanyo Kereke, who was shot, was subsequently rushed to the National Hospital by his brother and some police officers and at that point reported dead. It was learned that the shooting happened when Okereke and other street vendors selling on the Shewu Shagari Way 3 arm zone flocked around the convoy of the speaker who was said to be in the habit of giving out money any time he passed them. The speaker who has confirmed the shooting in a series of tweets on Twitter says, A horrible incident has taken place this evening as I left the National Assembly. I stopped as usual to exchange pleasantries with the newspaper vendors at the corner. Many of them have known me since I first moved to Abuja and it was a friendly exchange. Unfortunately, after the convoy set out in continuation of movement, unidentified men obstructed the convoy, which got the attention of security men in the convoy who shot into the air to disperse them. Some hours later, after getting to our destination, it was brought to my attention that someone was hit by the stray bullet, contrary to an earlier report by men in the convoy that they applied their security discretion to shoot in the air. He said, I am personally distraught about this incident and my deepest sympathies go to the victim, his family and Abuja vendors. In the meantime, the officer who fired the fatal shot has been suspended from the convoy pending the conclusion of the investigation. My value for human life and my respect for all people, irrespective of social economic status, is what endeared me to those vendors and these are the reasons why I stop my convoy quite often to connect with them. For one of them to have been shot by my security detail is horrific and I cannot begin to imagine the grief and loss Ifine's family must feel on this sad day. No family should have to go through this. I have caused the report to be made to a local police station and an investigation has commenced. Even though the speaker has acknowledged the incident, many Nigerians have taken to social media to express their anger over the incident with many saying that it was unfortunate the incident happened amid a call for an end to police brutality. Lawyer and activist Tokwe Akinyode tweeted, The killers of a street vendor in Abuja yesterday must be brought to book. Comedian and NSAS campaigner Debo Macroni stated that Ifani's wife just recently gave birth, another Nigerian dead because we're in a country that has zero value for human life. Also popular broadcaster Kadari Ahmed wrote, no justification for using lethal force to keep citizens away from those who elect them. I believe Femi Baja is appalled, but that is not enough. The shooter must be prosecuted. Ifani and Ifani and his family deserve justice and then how about legislation banning the use of live ammunition during regular work by security services, especially that which brings them into a contact with civilians. This is a worthy memorial for Ifai. While Nigerians wait for updates in this line as well as hoping that justice will be served, we definitely will bring you updates on Eniola Badmas TV in line with this story. Remember to like and subscribe before you go. See you soon.